Next, we're gonna to need to pull the wrenches for that. This right here is the die wrench, and that will hold that bit. And this right here is the tap wrench that will hold that bit. And then we can start cutting these threads in. There we go, that's nice and solid. So that one's ready to go. Now let's go ahead and put this bit for the, the tap in. And you'll notice that it has a squared off edge. And this is squared as well, so that can lock in there. So you're just gonna rotate this, line it up. And then this one, you just take the two ends. You'll see it here as it's starting to come through. And we're getting to the point now. Put those grooves into it. And get it re-threaded. Oh. oh, a regular die, you say? Not a re-threader? Here's what happens when you use a die to fix damaged threads. It cuts new thread. It doesn't straighten out the old ones. And that just leaves you with flattened thread. All right, what up, y'all? So have you ever had a strip bolt or CV axle that you need to fix? Well, I got this tool here. It's called a thread file, and it'll fix your threads without having to cut new threads. So I'm going to show you how it works. So I got this little bolt right here and a nut. You can see it threads on perfectly fine like that. Uh, we're going to damage it and fix it here. So you can see now the nut won't thread on there. So what you do is you find the thread pitch. This is 1.25, so we find 1.25, and then we're just going to file it down until the threads are fixed. All right, so you can see the threads are fixed now. This is going to thread right on here perfectly. So you can see it goes on now, and this works great. Um, if you ever have a CV axle or something that you strip the threads on or something like that, and you need to fix the threads on a specialty bolt, you can't just buy a new one. Go get a thread file. It work great. All right, what up, y'all? So have you ever encountered a strip spark plug hole that you didn't know how to fix properly? Well, I got a tool here for y'all today. So basically, this is called a back tap. This is a 12 millimeter version. They also make a 10 millimeter version, a 14 millimeter version, and an 18 millimeter version. But basically, what we can do is get some of this good stuff here, put it on the end of it where the threads are right here, stick it all the way down in the engine like that, and then tighten it down all the way. Now we come back with our wrench like this, back it out, And now your spark plug thread holes are fixed. Now, the reason you wanna use this tool instead of a tap and die set is because you can see it expands. So it's called a back tap because a regular tap and die pushes metal in the engine. This works in reverse of that. You stick this in the engine and it pulls any metal or debris outward. I'll put them in the description down below on Amazon. They're hard to find uh, locally. Take a look at that torn up thread. It's aluminum, it's never gonna hold torque. Today we're gonna show you real quick how to fix it. First, verify what size hardware you have. If you don't have one of these gauges that tell you the diameter and the thread pitch, take it down to your local hardware store and they'll be happy to help you out. You'll also need the kit. It tells you what size drill bit to use right down there underneath all that. I got that drill bit, drill. I got some brake clean, some lubricant, a little grease, Loctite, a file, a wire brush. You don't need all this stuff, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. And your tap along with your tap wrench, which, which does not come with the kit. You can get um, a tap and die set from Harbor Freight or something like that if you don't have one of these. Apply lubricant and drill it straight. Now that we've got the hole drilled, you wanna grease up the tap so that we can collect all the shavings. You wanna go one turn forward and half a turn back as you go down through the hole. Remove the tap and clean the hole. And now that we've got a clean hole, we're going to go ahead and apply some Loctite and thread in the insert.
чуть меньше. I want to share a really quick tip with you on how you can repair your threads for free. Get yourself some strimmer line. This is some thin strimmer line. Place the strimmer line into the hole. Take your bolt, put it in place, nip away the excess, and there you have a really quick, cheap, easy way of repairing threads. <laughs> People don't talk about enough. This is like an automatic thread repair tool. It basically replaces all of these. All right, let's take a good look at this bolt right here. It's got a bunch of rust in it. It's actually inside the threads and this stuff is not coming out of here easy. Go ahead and install this over here. You'll hear the blades in here finding the pitch of this bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down just a little bit here and we'll go ahead and spin this off of here. Now there's a little bit of rust discoloration, so it's hard to see, but these threads are clear all the way to the bottom. If we turn this a little bit sideways and roll it, I think you'll get a better view, but these things are definitely clean. it in the vise because that would actually deform uh, the nut and would impact what happens when you put it on the thread chaser. So a nut like this, you want to put the thread chaser in a vise and then thread it down. 
The same kind of thing is true. You don't want to put your thread chaser in the vise because you'll squeeze it and you'll actually deform it. You want to be able to put the bolt in the vise and put the thread chaser down on top of it. Now this one I've already done and I actually had to wire wheel it a little bit and throw some uh, WD-40 or light oil at it to make sure the threads come out correctly. So remember, use your head when you're uh, cleaning up old fasteners. It'll save you a lot of effort down the road.